my understanding is them traders in Asia been hearing what I'm saying and they're going all right so you're telling me guys basically tricked us into losing a bunch of money betting on your stock market because your stock market's open it's not a closed stock market it's an open one and you were concerned about people investing in your stock market too much and ruining your economy because your economy is kind of stupid. The way, the way the stock market is is actually kind of stupid, especially when it's low. And so you basically told me you conned us. Well, I didn't con, them, con you. They conned you. Um, okay, so you're saying that you did that, but then all the while you're also saying you're the richest man in the world. All right, so let's think about how I'm rich. I'm like Roman Empire rich. So basically, Christians have this view of the Roman Empire and historians have this view of the Roman Empire. Basically, Christians think the Roman Empire wasn't that great, and then the Christians came around, you know, uh, in this name, in this sign you will conquer, Constantine, you know, came in there, Constantine whooped a bunch, mother, bunch of people's asses, uh, and then everyone became Christians. Everything was cool after that because they became Christians, but really what happened is after Nero, which all the Christians hate Nero, Nero was a really good emperor. Nero was super rich. Nero was super powerful. Nero had all the gold. Nero went around conquering everyone and then took all their shit for himself and he didn't waste it. So basically, the Christians took over and they had all of Nero's gold. So I think for a lot of people, it's real confusing how um, I'm gold rich, but I gotta have a way to be cash rich. And sometimes you have, it's better to focus on um, where no one will see it coming. Because people think they're, they're, they're doing some insider trading because, let's face it, we are very rich and that's why no one busted me for so long. Like I'm talking like years, I did a hunger strike and what I said is, we ain't got no option but to sell drugs. It's not fun. You think it's fun, you, do, do you know it's, it's actually kind of like, <clears throat> because like, I mean, how many hitmen, how many hitmen can you really avoid? Well, fortunately for me, I'm from Texas. I ain't no sissy, and I ain't worried about no hitman, because I'll put a bullet right between it as well. Really depends on the situation, but um, I, I'd actually prefer not to have to shoot them. But all I'm saying is those people get sent because this is a complicated world and there are people that are mad at you for all different reasons. But all I'm saying is um, Joe Biden's one of those people that's real mad at us, and um, a lot of people are, but um, so basically, after I found out that, or after I started having this theory that people were blackmailing Donald Trump, because I didn't think, I, I found it, like, initially I thought it was the Russians, but I read, like, intelligence, like, like uh, uh, open source intelligence magazines, like, that's why I know about Hezbollah, and how, how much they've been stockpiling weapons since their war with Israel back in 2007. I actually do know that um, Israel has got a, a lot of mortars pointed at them, but, I read about that stuff, so I, I started to question the Steele dossier, but then I don't really know. I, 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 what, what I do know is that it seemed like something, it seemed a lot more probable that American intelligence would be doing spying on this guy and they would have secret intel and a lot of people would be privy to that information, specifically people at Fort, like my old, uh, I, I used to share an office with a guy from the NSA who did the president's daily briefing. And uh, he was a computer guy. He was way better at computer than, computers than me. He helped me with my program. He's the one that, uh, I wrote this computer program that looks at everyone that's on your computer, every, all your connections, and it tells you uh, what company owns owns the IP address, and it also tells you where they're located. And man, I would do some GOIP location things, and I'd be like, I'm not even on the internet. And I'd be like seeing people like <laughs> seven miles away, and be like, I know where you are. You're on a military base. It was actually pretty exciting. But yeah, they actually helped me do that. It was kind of crazy that, that like he was helping me do that. Cause so like, it's kind of weird. I'm like, the, the NSA is holding us back, but they weren't holding me back. They were actually helping me. But then at the same time, they did not want me to discover discover certain things. Cause I mean, I, 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 I catch them, I write a paper on it. And then I realize I'm, uh, this is bad that I wrote this. I'm going to get murdered over this hack. And then, um, and that's when they showed up in my office and like I, my, my boss called me into a meeting and it's like everyone from the NSA. But if you haven't noticed, I never really complained about those people, even though I complained about them, like the way that they interacted with me, the way they acted like they were the shit. But that's because I thought that 
I, mean, I thought they knew who I was. I mean, I don't know if they know. That's it. I think they do know who I am. I think they've known who I am for a long time. And, and, and the NSA ended up overlapping with the FBI at one point because I used to know all these NSA, NSA people when I did my hunger strike. And then now I think that, I don't know. All I do know is um, I'm not a Democrat and I ain't no Republican, but I know for sure that I'd be real happy with getting Brett Kavanaugh gone, Neil Gorsuch gone, because if they both got their jobs from something fraudulent, like a fraudulent situation like through blackmail, then we would have two Republicans gone and we'd have more spots for Democrats and we got some old Republicans in there. So, um, I mean, I, I, we are never legalizing abortion. That's just how this is not, that, that's just not gonna happen. This planet is overpopulated. I don't give a shit. Like how, like if you think like somehow I will legalize, I'm, I'm from a family. Do you know, I go to fundraisers for abortion. That's where I meet Congress people and Olympians and all kinds of people. That, not, that, that, that's the community I'm from. I'm like baffled by my community because I, I come from the conservative community. It's like, but I'm but like, it's like, but then I'm like, not conservative because I use my brain. I don't know. I hope the reporters help me on this. Let's go get them.